What's going on YouTube? Jake from Tech Kitchen here with another great product unboxing and review. So as you know, I'm putting together a budget home recording studio slash YouTube studio. So this is one of the final pieces uh, to put this puzzle together. Uh, what I have is the HP 27ES. It is a 1080p 60 hertz 27 inch monitor. Um, it has a seven millisecond response time, which is great for watching movies, maybe gaming, should be able to take care of all your video needs. As for me, I'm gonna be using it primarily to edit my videos with Adobe Premiere, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna serve my purposes. Without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the unboxing. As always, safety first. So let me just get through the tape here. Pop this open, and looks like we're going to be greeted with styrofoam. These tend to give me a little bit of trouble, so I just like to flip them upside down. And just let it come out. It looks like a few pieces might have popped out here. Not a big deal. Alright, so let's go ahead and flip it this way. And we'll try to put some of these pieces back. <laughs> So, first thing we have here, looks like it is the instruction manual. We have a power cord, pretty standard there. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what that's for. Uh, surprise, it actually came with an HDMI cable. I have a few, but I really wasn't expecting this to come with one, so that's a nice little surprise there. Oh, uh, let's see here. Kind of the shape of a remote here. Oh. Oh, actually it is the stand, or at least a piece of it here. So it doesn't look like there's any screws or anything. Did also want to mention, by the time you see this video, it may not be that anymore, but this monitor, the reason I got it was because it's on sale right now at Best Buy for $149.99, which is a pretty good deal for this. Wow, so it looks like it's just gonna be a you just kind of screw it together here. There's actually, it doesn't look like there's any extra pieces, so that's kind of nice. Let me just throw that on the bed up here. So we've got everything here. And here is the actual masterpiece itself. So, let's see. I know you can't see it too well here. I will try to bring it up to the camera. Don't know if it's gonna focus in on it, but we have two HDMI connections, a VGA, and the power uh, connection. So, everything looks pretty good there. Let me go ahead and pull this out here. And some extra paperwork there. Actually, it feels really nice. Looks like it's got a nice thin bezel on here. All right, so here we are. That is as good as a TV, if you ask me. It's nice and sleek. The only friend that you can see is along the bottom edge. If you have, if you're hooking maybe this up to a Mac, that silver goes perfectly with it. So that's pretty awesome here. So, um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And let's go ahead and get to what we all want to see, which is this monitor hooked up and how the screen looks. Okay, so before I hook it up, I actually want to show you guys just how simple this setup is to connect the stand. So we have these two pieces, right? And really, I mean, this just slides into there. That's it. It's got this little screw in here. Just turn it. And I'm doing that now. nice and tight and on this end it literally just pops into here and I may have to lift this up just a little bit boom done deal so that is really nice really user-friendly really easy anybody can do that two pieces snap in place it's ready to go so now let's go ahead and get to the setup all right and there you have it 
So I have the monitor fully set up now. As you can see, I have my 14-inch Toshiba laptop in the corner. Uh, that's a great laptop, by the way, but trying to edit video and especially photography, I imagine, on a 14-inch screen can be a little bit of a hassle. Not to say it can't be done, definitely can, but I got tired of zooming in all the time. So I'm glad I have this monitor. I've uh, watched a little bit of video with it. I'm definitely going to keep it. I do need to do a little bit of customizing. Um, you know, the, the blacks and the contrast level are a little bit too light for my taste, but I will go ahead and calibrate it and take care of that. That's not a big deal. So hopefully this video helped you out and uh, maybe you can catch the same deal I did, 150 at Best Buy. It's a great deal right now. Check out the reviews besides this one and uh, see if this is the monitor for you. All right, well, I just want to give a thank you to everybody out there that's been subscribing and commenting on my videos. Again, if you haven't and you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to have plenty of products coming, plenty of tutorials, and an occasional music video or two. Some of them, yes, will be parody videos. So until then, I just want to say thank you from me and Snoop. Have a good day.